Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I showed how you can use hyperlink in order to make your ending slides. In this video, I'm going to cover another way you can use to make your ending slide using zoom slide feature in PowerPoint. You can change your layout by going to home and layout section and choose whatever layout you want. So this is a default layout when you open a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. You can also select them and delete them manually. And you can also go back to the layout section in the home and then choose whatever you like. So. First of all, in this video, we are going to use the zoom feature, which is the new latest feature in Microsoft PowerPoint. And before that, I'm just going to copy some of the slides from my previous presentation, which I made in the last pre video. I'm going to use them over here so that we can save some time. So now I've pasted my previous slides in this presentation. And now you can see how they look like one by one. So I use less number of slides so that we can make this video a bit short and more precise and easier to understand. I will also show you how you can make these kind of presentations in my other upcoming videos. So let's get started. Let's go back to our first previous slide. Now if you want to add a zoom animation to your slide, what you have to do is you have to go to the insert menu. When you click on the insert menu, find the section zoom. After clicking on the zoom section, you have three options. Slide zoom, summary zoom, and the section zoom. So first of all, when you click slide zoom, you will see these options. So we are don't we don't want the first slide to be selected because we don't want that slide to come. So instead, we are going to select our other slides. So now select all the slides one by one by just clicking on them. After you have selected all the slides, click on insert. Now you can see your slides over here. This is the default image size that the zoom generates. Now you can arrange them and place them wherever you want. Remember that the zoom animation works with the numbering of the slides. For example, if the slide number one is appearing on the first hand side of the right hand side, it will appear first and then the slide number two will appear. No matter the orientation of the slides, it will appear based on the uh, order of the slides in your slide plane. Now let's go quickly and see what we can do with these ones. So I'm just going to adjust these arrangements and I'm going to adjust the size of the slides so that they can cover the whole space of the slide and also look better because empty spaces doesn't look much better for a presentation. Now let's just quickly change the color of the background, go to the insert, go to the design section and then go to the format background and then you can change the color of the background color of your slides. You can choose a solid fill or a gradient fill. If you want a solid fill, you can change. I'm going to keep it consistent with my other slides, so I'm going to select this color. Now once you have chosen the color, now let's back work back on the zoom slide. We don't want too many empty spaces, so what we are going to do is, we are going to select and we are going to try and make these images look as better as they can. So now I'm just trying to cover the empty spaces in my PowerPoint presentation. I'm increasing the size. We are only left with one image now. In order to cover the space, I'm going to rotate it anti-clockwise and I'm going to increase its size so that it can fill the space. So now just click the circle and then rotate it and then drag it to the top position and then slide it and extend it from the border. I'm just going to extend the size from the side of the picture like this one. It distorts the image over here but it doesn't looks prominent but the original slide size will remain the same. So when you click on this one, the first slide comes and then the second one, and then the third one, and then the fourth one. Remember I told you it will appear on based on the arrangement of the slide numbers rather than any position that you want. So now let's quickly go back to our main slide. So this is our main front slide and now I want to add a text to this one. But before adding a text, let's quickly work on a small minor details which includes that if I want to add a border to this file, if you want to add an outline to this picture, what you can do is go to the format section and add outline to this picture. But right now I don't want any of these because they look pretty much good like this. So now this is the zoom section that's why you have to go to the zoom section and then format the images. So now click on the zoom now you can also remove the background of the images. No matter what if you remove the background the image will appear just the way it looks right now. So now if you remove the black background it will look without a background which is dark gray in the beforehand. So now just let's just remove the background for the pictures and then see if it looks good or not. After doing that, what you can do is go back to the home section and insert a text box. I'm adding a text box to add my heading. You can add adding whatever you like. 
This time I'm ahead. I'm writing project report 2020. This is an old work, so it depends on your own work. So if you have a different kind of headline or title, you can change the title depending upon your own choice. It's just going to increase the size. You can increase or decrease the size using these cursors. Now let's make slight adjustments to the text. Uh, let's change the color and see which color looks most prominent to this dark background. Uh, I will prefer using red this time because the red is more prominent and will look more adjacent. Using the green one makes it a little bit dull and doesn't show much brightness. So I'm going to change this color to the red one so that it can adjust with the majority of the colors that are being used in the slide colors. So now the first slide which is the zoom slide is ready. So now you can see that we have total of six slides. The first slide is the title slide and everything will depend on that slide. Now go to the zoom section and add a summary slide. What is a summary slide? Summary slide is actually the slide that I prepared in my previous video which is the ending slide. So what happened is I'm going to select all the slides that I want to appear on my summary slide. Click the slides and click on insert. After clicking that slide, you will see a zoom slide in the summary slide on the, on the first, hand, first slide. So now what you can do is you can drag it down to the bottom of the slide so that it appears after your ending slide. Now also move this one, this slide to the bottom, second last slide so that it can appear before the summary slide. So now this is a summary slide. We want it to appear after the ending slide. So that's why I kept it at the bottom of my slides. Now I'm going to adjust the size and make it a little bit bigger so that it can fill the screen and will leave as less empty spaces so that it can cover the empty spaces and look much more better. Now this is my slide which is the zoom slide. So in this summary slide, if you move any of the image, if you change any of the image, you can just reset them by clicking on this icon which is the reset to default. So now when you reset that, it comes back to its default original position. So now let's add the text to the top. I'm going to go to my first slide, copy the same text over there, Control plus C and then Control plus V will paste over here. Let's quickly change the background color of this slide also and make it consistent with the previous ones. Go to the format background and click on the solid fill and then change the color. Now everything is set and everything is done. But we need to make it more attractive as it doesn't look much more attractive right now. So what we can do is we can just come over here and see what we can do. We can just add some boundary colors or, bo or the borders of the pictures. You can increase the width of the borders of the pictures so that it can be more prominent. So as this is my last slide, this is a conclusion slide so I want it to be more prominent in comparison to the one on the first slide. Now I'm going to repeat the same steps for the other one. I tried doing the format painter for the zoom images but guess what, you cannot do the format painter for the zoom images so you have to do it individually. So I'm quickly going to do and add borders to these images one by one and then we will work on the other part of the presentation. I just added borders to the pictures, now let's work on the text. I'm going to change the title of my last slide to the questions are welcome and I'm going to increase and decrease the size and adjust according to the size of my area covered by the images. Now let's try something else. I want to remove the background for these images. So what we can do is we can select the image, we can go to the zoom pane and remove the background. Similarly, I'm going to remove the background for the other images also. Select them and then remove background. Select them again and then click on zoom background and it will remove the background of your slides. So now this is one way how you want to present it. You can also change the icons of the images that are appearing but in actual when you zoom it will appear something else which I will show you in a moment. So now let's go and add some background to this and make them connected and show them and make them look like and give them a perspective that they are all in one place and they are all connected. I'm just adding a small background uh, shape to this uh, slide and I will increase the thickness of this object. So after increasing the thickness of this object, you can send it to back. After sending it to back, what you can do is, you can add some background to the text because the text is transparent right now and it doesn't have any fail. That's why you can see the background shape which we just inserted. So just go to the shape fail and then you can copy the, the color of the slide background using eyedropper and then you can decrease or just the size of the text so that it comes within the boundaries of the shape and it looks a bit more beautiful than the start. So right now you can see that I'm decreasing the size of the space covered by the text file so that they can come within the boundary of the shape. Now we are just going to drag them a little bit and make them in the center so that they can cover equal space on the top and the bottom. Now let's go to the first slide again. So remember the difference between a slide zoom and a summary zoom is that 
the slide zoom doesn't return to its zoom position which is the zoom out position so as you can see it is unchecked so that means when you click on it if you check this option it will go back to the main screen instead of going to the next slide so that's the difference between a slide zoom and a summary zoom so now i want my first slide to be a bit more attractive so for that i'm going to go to insert pictures i'm going to use a stock images that monica powerpoint offers without copyright issues so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to search any background images which I can use for my my background for my presentation. It can be different, whatever you like. This time I'm using some lab pictures which can show or which can resemble a little bit with my work. And for that I can use one sample image like this. But now the size of this image is a little bit different than my actual slide size. What you can do is, you can double click on this one, go to picture format, crop options and then you can change the aspect ratio. By changing aspect ratio, you can choose to 16 ratio 9, 16 by 9. When you click on it, you can see the black cursors over here. You can drag your image so that you can make that part visible which you want. I want this doctor to come in this image so that's why I'm dragging it to the right left hand side and make him appear. Now you can move it to the corner of the slide and then drag it and extend to the bottom of the slide to cover the whole space. Now extend it to the size of the slide and then send it to the background. This image right now looks too dark and will make our object not too visible. So one way to do is that you can decrease the opacity for this picture. Now you can see that you can't read your text too well. When you zoom in, it's too blur and also it's not clear and also somebody cannot read with a, this kind of background. So what you can do it instead is you can go to the picture, select the picture first and then go to picture format and then click a small cursor over here in the end of this border. When you click over this, you can find four options. Painting options, filling, size and then you can find here the picture options. Click on this options and then click on the picture correction. You can find different options increasing or decreasing the brightness or the contrast and then you can also increase the brightness of the picture. If you don't want these settings, you can just simply reset the original settings and will return to the default. In this situation, I want to decrease the transparency of the picture. So I'm just going to click on this one and going to reduce its transparency so that it can appear more brightly. I noticed that my slides are still not visible. So what I can do is I can switch back to the zoom and then zoom background. Click on this one and then it will reduce. It will take it back to the original slide color that it had instead of removing the background. So just click on the zoom background and it will remove or it will add the background to your image. So now most of the things are done. Now what we can do is we can just quickly go through our slide and we can see how does it looks like. So this is my ending slide and I'm just going to make slight adjustments so that it can look more more good and attractive. I'm just reducing, I'm just increasing the size between the slides uh, so that they can have a uh, adjacent space between them and also they don't have too many empty spaces. This is one way to do it. You can make it more better if you spend more time on it but I prefer to make it simple and I don't prefer to spend or waste my time. Now I'm going to add the background to this one also by just clicking on the picture and then clicking on the zoom background. It will return my images back and will return a background to my slides which I remove in the first hand. Now most of the things are done. There's another way if you want to do. In the zoom side if you want your slide size to have a different picture, what you can do is you can just click on it and go to change a picture and then choose a picture. So now it gives an option for stock images. Now I'm going to replace my slide preview image with another image but in actual the picture or the contents of the slide will remain the same. So click on the image, go to change a picture and go on to change picture, then choose the image from stock images which are already available. Choose the picture from this background, it can be anything. For example, I'm going to use oil or fuel, I'm going to select this refinery and what will happen, the image will be replaced with this one. But remember, no matter which picture appears in the front, the actual content of the slide will remain the same because it is a zoom slide. So now let me just show you what I exactly mean. So now you can see this image is a fuel picture but when you click on it the contents of the pictures are the actual slide itself. So if you want to revert it back to the original slide you can just click it again and then you can go to the zoom options. After clicking on zoom you can go to change picture and then you can set reset picture. It will reset to your original slide which was actually present before. So this is how you make or alternative in the latest powerpoint portion. So now let me just quickly show you how it looks like in a slideshow. 
So first slide comes here. I'm going to select my first slide here and when it goes here, it will go in a zoom position right like this. When you click again, it goes to the second slide no matter the position. Then third slide, then the fourth slide, then the fifth slide which is in the rotation. And now the last slide. So now if you click on the last slide, someone says go to the fourth slide, then it appears like this. And then you can come back to the original position. So this is how you make a slide using zoom slide feature in PowerPoint. I hope you guys are liking my videos. So if you have any suggestions for my videos or if you have some comments or if you want me to make some videos for your aid research area, please leave your comments down below in the section below. And also do leave check out my other videos including PowerPoint design, schematic graphics and other things. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz. Thank you.